Okay, I am back showing uh, about the third week progress. Uh, I've added some new uh, plants and buckets to uh, my garden here. Uh, this here is a green bell pepper. Um, as you can see, hopefully, there's quite a few little green bell peppers on here. Um, and some more uh, squash. Everything seems to be doing pretty good. I did lose a couple uh, due to the wind. Uh, the little milky substance that you see on there is uh, neem oil. I just ended up spraying on everything, so uh, just disregard that. Just a little bit of uh, insecticide and fungicide. Um, yeah, hopefully you can see the little bell peppers growing on there. Um, things looking good there. And here we have some uh, more green beans and some squash and uh, also some tomatoes and some more tomatoes. Plenty of new flowers on here. Uh, this here underneath is a little cherry tomato. Hopefully, uh, how there begins to take off. This one here is probably only about like two weeks old. I ended up purchasing the uh, green pepper plant um, in about a four inch pack. It already had some flowers and stuff on it. So I figured I'd uh, go ahead and just put that in there. Uh, but as you can see, some of these are actually um, blooming. And no fruit yet, but working on that. And this is one of the buckets that was in um, the previous video, the week one status of the garden. As you can see, the green beans are really starting to take off here. Uh, there's also some squash in there. Some squash starting to get some little uh, male flowers on there, so hopefully that's a good sign that they're doing okay. Um, here's tomatoes. These are uh, Roma tomatoes. Both of these here are Roma tomatoes. And as you can see, there's uh, some flowers coming on there. And now we also have another cherry tomato here. And some chives and basil and parsley and more uh, squash. And here are the eggplant. The eggplants are really starting to take off. Uh, if you check the other video, I mean, only two weeks ago, it was, uh, they were really small, but they've absolutely exploded. I have some uh, rosemary up there. It's starting to really take off. I uh, must be rooting really good. And plenty of beans in there. And here's the uh, pesto basil and more uh, eggplant and some more squash. Plenty more beans. And let me get back to this one here. Got a, another little green bell pepper underneath there. And we have some more beans and. Uh, more basil and this is the strawberry bucket as you can see it's uh, really doing well and got some flowers on there so we're going to be enjoying some uh, strawberries here pretty soon and here we have some lavender uh, we kind of picked that quite a bit we uh, make a lot of lavender tea with that it's pretty decent we add a little bit of mint with it and uh, boy it tastes really good so yeah here we have um, more tomato and it's starting to get some uh, flowers on it as well. And let's see, we have some more eggplant and some more green peppers, more green peppers and some more uh, parsley. And then there's some beans that are also uh, mixed into that mix. And here we have some regular Italian basil and more of the eggplant. You can see it's uh, really starting to grow and more tomatoes. I believe this one here is the uh, the super steak. So hopefully I'll have uh, some big tomatoes coming. It's uh, just now starting to push out some flowers. Probably won't be able to see them very well on this video, but uh, they're there. Um, they're gonna waste too much time on that. And some more rosemary. And another uh, tomato here as well. I believe this one here is the early girl. Um, and hopefully you can see the little flowers coming up on that. And some more bell peppers. And yet even more bell peppers. Plenty of beans coming up. And here we have um, some tom more tomatoes. This here is Roma. And then we have some uh, ferment and some more rosemary. Plenty of little squash in there. I had some seeds left over. And there was some open area. As you can also see that I took off from the topsy turvies, the little watering lids, I didn't really care for those. Uh, didn't seem to spread the water around very well. So I took those off and went ahead and did, you know, a little bit more planting in that. So then uh, here's the topsy turvy uh, pepper um, 
container and as you can see there are just it's loaded with flowers um, not exactly sure there's two green peppers in here and a serrano pepper and a uh, um, jalapeno pepper in there I believe that's the serrano there as you can see there's uh, little flowers coming on that as well and this one here is just absolutely loaded with flowers I mean there's going to be a bunch of peppers on this plant here. And as you can see, took the lid from the topsy turvy off of this, planted some more beans and another squash. And there's some oregano. Now, this one here uh, ended up getting wind damaged, um, so it's not doing very well. But uh, I planted a whole bunch more tomatoes, so it should be all right. Uh, they're starting to get a little bit of new growth on there, but we'll see. I'm not too uh, excited about that one. And then here is another strawberry and more tomato, uh, more Roma tomatoes. And this one here is actually starting to set fruit, as you can hopefully see right there. Yeah, little guy. And more eggplant and more strawberries. And one of these uh, plants here actually has a flower in it. Where the hell that went? Oh, it's right here. There's a little flower guy. So, hopefully within a few weeks here I'll have uh, some more uh, flowers and hopefully be setting some eggplant. Can't wait for that. So, originally I ended up putting some soil into these, to this one, and also this one here um, and the soil ended up turning into almost like a mud concrete and I didn't really care for that and I think that may be one of the problems with this tomato the drainage was really poor um, so I amended the soil and kind of stirred it up as much as I can and I have been noticing uh, a lot more growth since I've done that and hopefully uh, that'll all work out so yeah once again uh, here is kind of a shot of everything you know all the buckets hanging and hopefully real soon here we're going to start setting some fruit and be able to start eating the fruit well oh, i can't wait so hope you enjoy and if you have any questions or comments please feel free to uh leave them i'm open to suggestions and uh because this is my first attempt at bucket gardening our ground here in Hawaii is rock solid. There's a bunch of rock only two, three inches below the soil. So um, I think this is the way to go, especially seeing how I have this huge structure here that used to have a tarp, but the wind tore it down. So um, we'll uh, continue to plant some more, you know. So like I said, feel free to leave a comment.